lovely, lovely good morning to you. Um, to those of you that have been following quite very well, and if you know someone who loves farming, please tag them along so that they can be able to follow. If you um, you don't you know someone, invite them to this channel and also to this Facebook page so that they can follow along and so that they can be moving together. Those that have been following along, you know that we've been preparing to plant our papaya. If you can see, you rarely find papayas on the road, and this is one fruit that grows super fast. And uh, yet many have not yet embarked on it and uh, to do it. So there are quite a number of reasons why we've decided to plant a thousand papayas at Organic Farm Seven. We've just started with the first few. Today we're going to plant, I think, about uh, about 300, 400. Then probably tomorrow we're going to be done with planting um, the papaya, the 1,000 papayas project. So we're going to be doing it in stages, but we're going to start with a thousand. So quite a number of reasons. One, papayas grow extremely very fast. Number two, papayas don't need a lot of water and a lot of nutrients. They're not very complicated, they're not complex. Then number three, papayas are rarely found on the Zambian market. Like for example, if you travel all the way in these roads, you rarely find papayas on the road. So would one papayas to be so common on the market, just like you know when mangoes are in season. So if you're going to be staying somewhere in Kafue, you should be able to find organic farm seven papayas along uh, the Kafue road. Very, very, very soon we're going to be opening an outlet uh, towards the end of the year when these are going to be ready. So then on the other side, papayas can be planted within a very small space. You can plant them like three by two or three by three, depending on the amount of space that you can. So they don't take up too much space. Even within a very short space, you can actually plant them. Then they grow extremely very fast. These will be fruiting in the next four months. Our papayas are going to be fruiting. And you see, you see here the soil will be putting um, our sandium stock and you know irrigation is already in place. This project we are very sure that it's going to be actually um, it's going to, to, to kick start very very well. And then on the other side also papaya gives you quite a lot of fruits. In a year they can give you up to 200 fruits. Let's stick with 100 for argument's sake and if we are selling each papaya for 100 kwacha, no for 10 kwacha, 100, uh, 100 by 10. And that is 1,000. So meaning, if I have 200 papayas, I'm going to make 20,000. If I have 100 papayas, 100 by, uh, by, by 10, so meaning one will be giving me 100. So if I plant 100 by 1,000, that is 100,000. So for argument's sake, you can even reduce maybe five kwacha per plant. We can, we are talking about the 50, 50, 50,000. But the thing is, it should be combined with proper marketing scheme whereby you don't just produce but you know you're going to be selling your product so if you, i plant these like the way i'm planting so I've, i know very well and with this hunger that is going to be there and you know whereby many people are not willing to invest in orchards the best that you can do is if you plant a crop like that of a papaya which doesn't take up a lot of space you invest in irrigation when a lot of people are holding back one thing you should understand whenever there's a crisis it is also an opportunity for those that think about solutions not those that think about problems many people have paused on planting because they are thinking of problems but those that are thinking of okay now how do we navigate around how do we find solutions they are the ones that are going to be smiling because whatever the case be whether people have money they don't have money there's a crisis even in war people still, still need to and now we are planting these papayas. We, we are not scared of the future. As long as we are alive, we are going to fight. We're going to do whatever it takes for us to produce food. And we are set. And um, this is one of those projects you should be also be willing to do. Just do a trial. Just do a trial and see how it is going to profit you. So we are so excited about this. I hope you are doing something also. You are not just working and all those things. If you know that in your area there are no papayas, if you go to the stores, you don't find papayas check the prices for papayas and you see that actually it's a lucrative business that you can invest in even at home from your backyard you can have a line of 10 papayas planting them two meters apart papayas don't take up a lot of space and you're going to remember that what i was saying was actually very good and very very important all you need is manure you have the seedlings and you have a few plants of concrete to sustain with the zinc deficiency that is very common and your papayas are going to be doing 
very very well having said that i'm eating a product which uh, if you need some papayas let us know we can give you at a discounted price of uh, 30 kwacha to try so meaning you get 300 for 10. give it a try and see what is going to happen and these are very easy to manage at home at your farm as long as you have water you're good to go just mulch heavily and these they don't actually take up immediately they start fruit you reduce on water and water maybe twice a week and that saves on labor and also water stay better and stay organic we love you so much and we appreciate you